What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Napoleon Total War 3 Let's Play as the Swedish Empire. So to pick up where we left off, we are fighting around Kessel and thanks to a bit of shrewd political manoeuvring, <laughs> um, pretty much bribery, I have paid the Spanish for peace. So this force that had originally potentially caused us quite, could cause us quite a bit of problems, they are now at peace with us and they will not interfere with an action to invade the city of Castle, and they will be teleported away back to their own territory. So we've got the general, chunk of cavalry, a couple of bits of infantry, but nothing really that's going to cause any massive problems. Unit of guard artillery is coming in as reinforcements, but nothing that will stop Mr. Skaldebrand. City defense. Oh, city defenses. I haven't played with city defenses for a while. Ever, actually. Huh. Well. Let's find out. <laughs> I haven't. Yeah, no, I haven't played. I haven't done played an actual. Um, oh, okay, maybe not. <laughs> I don't know whether that's something in this mod or not. Whether or not defenses are actually a thing. It would appear from the the map that there are no actual defenses. I know that's a thing in Napoleon. No, in Empire. Sorry, that you can you can. Um, uh, turn forts off because people decided that it's not really worth fighting through all the bugs and stuff, which is fair enough. It's got a main force coming up the left, a splint force coming up the right. Our twelves are going to be nowhere with our sixes. And my heart is going to follow the main line up. Again, as is tradition, split up the cavalry, put some on the right flank. Howitzers push up with the main line with Mr. Skaldebrand. Round shot is the most. I do need to just turn off, <laughs> turn off advice. I could have demanded the surrender, but I like the idea of kill or capturing another one of France's of Napoleon's marshals. They have cavalry, so we need to be ready for that. Artillery is not really going to do a huge amount for us in this ep in this um, battle. The main thing is going to be where all their cavalry is hiding. And wherever they are hiding, my men can just jump into squares, so it's not going to be a problem. So the general could attempt to... Hello? You men all. Yeah. Oh, no, they're still tempted. Okay, let's re organize my template. I'm not quite sure where they're going to try and get to. The squares. So my heavy cavalry had to charge their Chevaux Leger. My heavy cavalry can advance. Yeah, they tried to go for my my artillery. Bring my light dragoons around to the rear. Goes the light horse. Chasseur de Alsace, indeed. And that's the general. <laughs> that's a lot of damage done. My infantry form line, because there is Chasseur Chaval de la Garde coming in. Keep my artillery moving. Charge the general staff, my militia. Uh -huh. 
So we're going to keep two militia behind. You men form ranks. You men advance up because it looks like that's where the focus of the enemy is going to be. My hussars trot all the way to the rear to see who is going to be popping up. In terms of their guard artillery, find out where they are. These are my foot guards, not just any troops. Good. Let's advance. It's looking like we haven't got to worry about reinforcements anymore. Well, not well. They're guys that have routed through our position. These are just two units of militia. We're engaging there. Uh, Chasseur Cheval de la Garde. Not quite as good looking cavalry. Uh, you guys stop and just pour fire into the, <laughs> the guard artillery that's right here. Actually, don't pour fire, just, just charge them. Knock them out. I like how my morale's gone down from charging an artillery team. Glorious victories are soon to be yours. Supposedly it's like, ooh, these guys drag guns around. Oh, that's a bit risky. Might not like that very much. Just push on and surround the... 6th Regiment has to pick up the pace. Okay, there they are. Actually, no, just walk my guns. They've not limbered up yet, so we can just walk my artillery, walk my cavalry in. There go their 12 pounders. Yeah, you charge that infantry unit, everyone else just walk over here preemptively. <laughs> because these partisans are not going to stand up to a cavalry charge, and my guys are active. They're not in a bad way at all. Chase them down. You guys gallop at the guard artillery. There we go. So long, artillery. Now oh, my uh, foot Jaeger aren't even... Yeah, that's right, I turned their fire at will off, didn't I? Yeah, you guys just go here and fill up the gap. There's not really any point in getting too crazy. This unit live in Delta. Experience level 4. Still aren't as good at shooting as my guardsmen. Especially with Svenska Gardek, because they're actually getting in quite good condition now. Get my cavalry out of the way. Just die! Your partisans! Skirmishes, civilian troops. As they advance close to my Svenska Gardet, their, their shooting's going to get that much more accurate. Yeah, there they go. So I do wonder if in this mod, fortifications don't really exist, in which case I've just wasted money fortifying certain cities. But at least Mr. Skolderbrand 
can now... There we go. We are going to peacefully occupy Castle. We're going to rebuild these buildings. This force that was pushing up to support them can now get down to Strasbourg, although they might actually... Yeah. Um, hmm. So Sweden, well, Switzerland I'm currently trading with. They're allied with Hessen. Hessen are allied with everyone else, so it would be useful if I could take out Luzerne. And that may or may not draw Hessen into the fight. But that would be beneficial. If I can take Switzerland, then take Stuttgart, then suddenly I've got access to Munich and Innsbruck. And then I've really driven a wedge. Well, I mean, I've driven a wedge at the moment. The French can only really transport troops through southern France. Because everywhere to the north is in good nick. Although well, you are in... you're here. So you guys might actually advance down towards this bridge. Because if we declared on Switzerland, Mr. Roma can push his way through to Luzerne. And we've got two forces. We'll have two forces here in this part of Europe, where one can push and take Stuttgart, and another can act as kind of a, uh, a bodyguard force and fight off any offensives from Munich or Innsbruck. Meanwhile, Paris has now come around. Let's see if we can tax you. We can! So, Mr. Backstrom, your job is to take Khan and Ren. Uh, when this, f when Paris chills out even more, I might even cancel building the no, I'll keep building them, just as for thematic reasons. Um, we're still building up an army here in Stockholm. Finland is just mass recruiting troops. So I want to start shuffling them over to start garrisoning some of my territories. Like Reims is just about okay with us being here. In terms of research, Orléans is still researching. Actually, they'll research Steam Engine before... They convert over to a supply warehouse, which is pretty handy. I don't think we need any more than two universities. But apart from that, once we... Ah, noise. Okay, small arms factory. We need to repair it and repair the gold mine. That is notionally French territory here, but Prussia should... Take Dresden. Okay, let's hit enter. Yep, some of my other garrison troops are marching up to the front. Yeah, all the French gentlemen that have abandoned Paris. <gasps> oh, the French have beaten the Prussians. Interesting. Oh, I didn't deploy my agent from my ship either. Oh, I don't raid Orléans. Koningreich Prussian. Take Dresden. They've already stacked the deck here. Do you think they'll win? <laughs> but yeah, now I don't have any unit caps on my land... or not on my land armies. As opposed to my sea armies. On my armies. Um, I can now start to prepare for much wider operations like against Russia, against England... Switzerland knows something's up. More Spanish troops are funneling in through southern France. Army sabotaged. Werner Arneson. They're sabotaging my reinforcements. Nation joins my enemies. Reino de España. So Spain has finally joined me. They can't actually... Well, they can attack me. Mr. Backstrom, you might march forward up to attack Pepin Sierres. Khan can wait. Let's destroy the French armies in the field. Khan is currently um, ungarrisoned, so the, the army in Paris can, in due course, march and take it, whereas this force can begin to do some operations to, weird, to rid the French countryside of their filth. My gunners are going to go up on this hill. Again, let's militia and in Delta up the centre. To Bjornborg. This time we're going to mass more on the right, because that's where my guns are, with my lifeguard and light infantry. 
And another unit of Bjornborg. So we group up our lights and heavies together. Lights and heavies together. Hussars follow up the main line with my general. And then my howitzers just advance up into the woods. So they got a big cavalry block. But it would be nice to destroy those infantry because they are guardsmen. Trouble is, though, where are they hitting? Hiding. Where are they hitting? <laughs> Me no words. Uh, right. So General Staff is on the move. No visibility on where their troops are hiding. But advance we will. Because they do have cavalry. A good chunk of it that must be behind this ridge line. In, wh in which case. Okay, let's make you guys advance up to the ridge line. These units defend the flank with the cavalry. Whoa, not on increased speed. I thought I heard something. Yeah, we only need one covering. Covering that section. These remaining troops get down into the muck. Oh, it says get them out of the trees. To be honest, there isn't really a great demand to deploy my guns. I might get my sixes up here, because if they are hiding behind this hill... Cavalry charge! Run into my squares, please. So they are nice looking QSC air models. Ah, they're gunners. Well, my infantry will be... My infantry will secure the flank there. Is that where they're all hiding? Because they can push up over here. So let's get one infantry unit to go over the hill. And act as bait. Give these men an order to advance. Give you guys an order to push up as well. If you guys want to interdict my front line, you're going to be in trouble. Hold the 23rd foot. Doesn't look like they can make up their mind about who they want to go for, so drop everyone into square. They will delay our front line, advancing up, but they will not stop it. Especially at that puny strength. You think a handful of cavalry can break a Swedish square? Or have you no? Know? The answer is no.
push this push the infantry up just to act as bait cavalry up all the way around to the rear well you've thought better of it general See, even though these might just be vanilla in Delta, they will not like the idea of being charged by cavalry and will hunker down into their square formations. So let's speed up time a little bit. Just because... Yeah, there they are. Infantry the lean, yeah. Infantry the lean, infantry the lean. Advance my infantry into the woods. They're not going to like it, but there we are. Okay, so this infantry is going to go up on top of the hill. You're going to cover there. These men need to run. Everyone else walk around the flank. Cavalry's in a good spot. That might be a bit too ambitious. Get the cavalry in here. So the 25th are not going to like that for very long. Okay, my militia have begun firing their opening volleys. Push my cavalry up the rear. Although, that is their heavy cavalry. Yeah, my guns are doing okay. My infantry's doing okay, I should say. Infantry de line, infantry de linea, infantry de linea. La Dragonair. Push everyone in. Got the cavalry's in a tricky spot. My general up on the hill. See, they can't make up their mind about where they want to go. Get my horse guards in fast. So you men charge the 5th horse guards, as will you, as will you, you will charge the guns. My heavy cavalry will advance up at speed. There we go, the infantry charge has been repelled in, fantastic, in a fantastic manner. So my light horse can go after the general staff. It's a bad formation, Sonny. My general can chase down the 50th. There we go. My, my light cavalry did not like that charge very much, but it was required to fix my opponent in place. My light cavalry go after the general. go. Light cavalry go after the general's staff. You may need to form up. Yeah, they form square, so pull that cavalry back. Keep on running. A unit of Indelta that's holding against an infantry to linear charge. Brave men. 
general has died. And we get a bayonet charge before they get within range. There's a delta unit around the flank. May well get an experience point. The cavalry have been pretty instrumental, as they always have been. Will the 25th be instrumental in breaking the, the 48th as well? They may well run. But I think the 48th are going to break first because of the cavalry. There they go. You men all cease fire. Yes, the Indelta got their experience. There we go. So that small force that's been that was going to run around and pillage the countryside has been destroyed. So we have a few more on the way or running around. Okay, but now you might take that opportunity to go after Khan. How far are we down the unhappiness hole? Minus three, minus one. Ooh. I'm going to keep you in there for a turn, let you come to terms with us being here just a bit longer, and then we will push out of Paris. Well, I might actually wait for Mr. Backstrom to take Khan and Ren and be on his way down to Bordeaux, and then that force can drive down towards Marseille and really cut the French off. Trade gains steady under fire. Good man. Okay, all the while I need to keep churning out a fleet. <laughs> it's going to take some time because I can't actually recruit. Oh, I can actually recruit. But not my heavy ships out of any other port other than this one. Can only get 38 gun Scandinavian frigates. Oh, two more turns till we get a lot of research done. Oh yeah, that was that army there that was sabotaged. You get back to Al get back to Strasbourg. Oh, you can't get in there yet. But next turn you can. Okay. You will push down towards Oh, you can actually cross the river. Hmm, Sven Zetisberg. Your army is currently unbloodied. We do have a border with the French in Munich, actually. Tempting to send this army east. Or if I had the movement to steal Dresden from the Prussians, although it looks like they've got some pretty elite troops guarding the city, and a pretty good general as well. I'm going to send my spy to have a look at what's going on at Vienna. Arnold Granville is at Prague. I'm curious to know where Napoleon was, because he was up here and I went to fight Brussels and then he ran away. I wonder if he went down here. Hello, there's a French spy. Should we take him out? 38%. Let's give it a go. Pap. Got him! Workers are on strike. Right, it's a lot of... that's fine. My spy. Plus one to subterfuge for assassination missions. Good stuff. It's got lots of Spanish troops. That's a bit of a concern because they could come smashing either west from here or north out of this pocket here. The only thing we can do is keep recruitment going. I did say I was going to move my cannon, move a cannonade frigate up here. I'm not going to focus on distribution. Just move as many troops over to Sweden as possible. Just keep shuffling backwards and forwards. Any that need to be distributed amongst these territories can walk from their homeland. But Toulouse, Bordeaux, they're all quite exposed, which is quite handy for us. So I think Prussia has taken... did Prussia... yeah they've just taken back um, Dresden from the French. So finally, all they have to do is stack two, two and a half or three armies, and then they take the city. 
I mean, granted, that's what I was doing not very long ago. <laughs> but at least, at least that was kind of one army would would deliver the the significant punch, and the other army would mop up the garrison. So let's see how Russia reacts. Well, they're going to be particularly unhappy when we attack. When we, when we attack them, but what I'm probably going to want to do. Oh yeah, more Spanish troops. I need to drive through France to cut off the flow of Spanish armies. Yeah, they've broken some stuff, but we're now back in control of the city. I mean, in theory, this makes no there's no benefit to me doing this. Because it reduces the recruitment cost of artillery, but I can't do anything with it. But what the hell, I'm a sucker. More troops recruited in Sweden. So you've got your elite foot guards. Let's recruit another. You've got a skirmish unit. You're about to get the remainder of your infantry. Let's get another skirmish unit. Three. Two in Delta. Get two units of militia to back them up. And let's get you back to Finland. Let's churn out a bunch of militia. We need to actually keep an eye on our income to make sure it doesn't drop too low. Traits gained. Choir master for our king. And Svet... <laughs> oh, minus one to command when leading cavalry. Nice. I don't think. So I think now, in theory, you can leave Paris. Well, one more turn would be better. Minus two isn't terrible, but... We're going to push on and attack the city of Cannes. We're going to try and demand the surrender of the city. And we're going to peacefully occupy it, because we are going to try and advance fairly quickly. I have... You can get a Scandinavian sloop as a garrison. England should be watching this with horror. It's a Protestant nation just boots down the door of uh, their greatest enemy. I'm looking forward to taking Brest to get the access to the dockyard. Enemy settlement surrenders. Yeah, it's because they have no garrison. One more turn to all of our build, all of our research activities are, up, are finished. what it looks like. Hmm. Actually, I might move you over to the over here, actually. Because this army, when it's finished, can deploy down here. If I have four armies, I can have two covering the Spanish border, and then two looking at trying to advance into northern Italy. That would be quite a good idea, I think. Yeah. So that's another 800 or so cash per turn. Let's have a look at our... So I'm pretty sure Paris is going to be our top region. Yeah, there it is. Denmark is behind that. Then Amsterdam. Then our own capital. Oh well. Let's hit end turn. There's a full Austrian army. And there's a couple of Russian armies. I'm really curious to see if Austria goes to war with Russia over their capital. Because you'd think they would. It would make sense. But then again, they are allied together, so they might maintain that alliance at all costs. I'd like to build up my navy to have more of a conclusive hold on the Baltic because when I take over when I take France and I'm pushing into Spain I want to position to take over Great Britain yeah, Switzerland is expanding so they're not, they're not going to make it easy to take over the territory Zacharias Mednik yeah, infiltrate Madrid, or at least attempt to. Some good generals. 
Tirador, Voluntarios, lots of artillery. Hmm. Tech advances. Tech advances across the board. So, Gorteberg, you've gone on to Percussion Cap. That's not a bad shout. To be honest, everyone's on to any th the last things. That <laughs> There's nothing else to do apart from research those things. So somewhere... Yeah, we can upgrade you to a steam engine factory. Can my... Well, my force can leave calm. Just about. New men march over to Ren, which is ungarrisoned. Demand the surrender of the garrison, and we're going to occupy it because we want to maintain the advance as quickly as possible. Send a cavalry out to Brest to boot out the French Navy. Alexandre Bodin, Guy de Forbin, and a bunch of corvettes. So Steam Dry Dock gets me the same selection of ships, just not as. <laughs> the same selection of ships as. Uh, as I can recruit elsewhere except from my home territory. Let's scatter my cavalry out to boot out. This harbour, because it's our harbour. Let's recruit sloops to hold both of those. So in theory, if we take you out, combine you with a force here at Paris, Mr. Armquiz can advance out from the city. They're okay, and they're being taxed. Oh yeah, and you're about to be converted, so... No worries there. Let's advance you down to this bridge. I want to get the lumber mill built before I do too much investing. I want to repair this building here. So in Sweden, four troops. So I can take four units of Finnish troops into Stockholm. Let's assume there isn't a burning urge to fortify this front. So they can take a few turns to get here. You can push south to here. Really start to squeeze the French in. We're going to want to keep this army here. Both to prevent the Hessian from getting up to too much mischief. Oh yeah, because you've got steam engine. All of our mines can be upgraded. A mine. And our lumber mills, steam powered sawmills. Excellent, I've got a couple of those. They reduce, and they reduce unhappiness, or well, they increase... Increase unhappiness, I should say. But that's part of the reason why I want to keep churning out militia. Get over there. Crew new general. Finn Pyle. Aggressive and a little sergeant. Let's get him on board. Let's go a bit heavier on the cavalry. Let's go for a few units of heavy cavalry. Go back to the old artillery unit selection. Let's get two units of lifeguards and a light infantry unit. Start recruiting. We're at 9,000 actually, so we need to be careful. Yes, we have taken this territory. Can we leave it immediately? We can! Resistance to foreign occupation should counteract most of the issues. So let's push down and hit Bordeaux and Toulouse. Knock out Marseille. I need lots of armies because you do want to act. Or do I recruit a garrison to sit here at Strasbourg and hold the city? Uh, you're on your way down. You're still repairing the buildings here at Castle. My fleet go back to Malmo. I've got another agent who is going to go and see what's going on at Munich. Kaminsky. Friedrich Winkler. Apollon Zu. I didn't get to see it in time. Konstantin Pavlovich. Why are all these generals getting so much more experience and action than my guys? It's not fair. 
Okay, let's upgrade the mine. Let's upgrade you to a steam-powered factory. Okay, so hopefully the Royal Navy sails around and knocks out those French ships. Lots of recruitment. We might have to ease off after that last... After our next army is being recruited. Just to expand our tax base a bit more. Yeah, they're going to try and steal my tech. Because they have no scores of their own. Start squabbling Austria and Russia. I would love that. That would cause the entire alliance to come crumbling down. Sweden still... Oh, Sweden. Prussia's sailing around. I mean, I know I'm pretty much betraying how Sweden's supposed to play in this campaign by not fighting Russia. But I think this makes the most amount of sense. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. I was going to say, I'm not sure where they're going. So at some point, Emilio Paseo. Oh, you tried to steal my tech, didn't you? That's why you got found out. General available, Pierre Dalin. Ancillary gained, Edward Andelstein, Minister, plus one management for Treasury. You already in the Treasury? You are. There's no hot shots coming on the horizon because they're all honest. Plus one Treasury. Plus one Treasury, minus one Treasury, plus one management, plus one Treasury. Okay, you're actually quite rubbish of all those extra followers so I might just bring in an honest an honest broker in which case I want to bring everyone else in first wait did you guess ah I brought him in and he just became mean let's bring in you there we go four star same tax result but with less um, issues fingers in the privy purse Uh, get your recruitment done. Finland's recruiting recruited a bunch of militia. Which I'll sail over. Then to start dispersing the militia amongst my frontier territories. Supply warehouse upgrade to a supply depot. You're still driving south. I'm trying to see if we can lure in a Spanish army. So it would be quite useful. Yeah, you can take time marching down to the castle region. Some good visibility on the troops around Munich. I think it might there might even be Napoleon near Munich. Good, you're marching towards my army. Oh, that is. It's Nappy Boney. <gasps> you dog. We're going to get him. We're going to get him again. Although I'm curious. Well, I presume he respawns at their capital, wherever it is. Which I think is probably going to be Prague? No, it won't be Prague anymore. No, it will be Prague. The, yeah, I think it will be Prague. I mean, in my brain, I'd like it to have been somewhere else in France, but I suppose in terms of major cities, that's probably the place to put it. Spanish are coming to attack us. Those people are trying to kill us. Right. That army that was moving south. Oh, there's an army. I want to kill those guys right there. Okay. Let's move all of my ships out. Mr. Neumann, embark. And where's the best way, the best place to deploy them probably doesn't exist. At least if I sell them into this port, they can run to Cleves. Although I might want to give them... Uh oh. Uh, no, it's all Royal Navy ships. Should be okay. 
You're going to march down to the bridge. So, if Napoleon comes for Castle, we're fully ready. You and your army can march over to Cleves to prevent this Spanish force from getting too comfy. It's being reinforced there. You may as well continue your drive south, so we're going to auto against this small force here. Drive down to the bridge. To be honest, you could stand to push up to here. Because Strasbourg does like us. So this force and his little garrison troops can push on to Strasbourg. This might spur a de declaration from Sweden to try and take our territory. But if they go for Castle, they'll find a fully armed force ready and waiting for them. You may as well stay here for one more turn till the sloop's ready. Then we can regroup our forces and drive south towards Bordeaux. Turns of over at Prague. Infiltrate Prague. Not Prague, Munich. I'm a dumb dumb. Okay, so we've lost our other university, and that's okay. You men de deploy troops. Over at Stockholm, more troops recruit, recruited in Marseille are finding their way eastward. Bonaparte's getting some support. Yeah, the French dispatching raiders into our lands. So if they go for Castle, Napoleon's turned around gone back to Munich. So if the Spanish go for Castle, that would be quite good because we'd then try and cross over the river and take it back from them. I don't think they can march through their lands because they are enemies. Well, they're not enemies, sorry. They're not allies. So they can march through their lands if they're enemies, but why would they if they've got an enemy city to take? Hmm. Default. <laughs> I presume that's <laughs> the mighty... Mighty rebels of default. I assume there's a uh, it's a rebel force that's not currently uh, got any flags defined for it. Spain have taken Stuttgart and they're reinforcing it. Okay, you can go back to where you were. You need to go. Back to Strasbourg. Get this army dropped off. Make it head this direction. You hold your ground here at Castle. You hold your ground here at Strasbourg. You guys reinforce before one more Reinforce one more time. Dispatch. Voltages. Dispatch my cavalry. To annihilate those voltages. Just run them down. March to the south. I can pick up this heavy cavalry unit. And combine. There we go. This force is now back up to strength and can advance towards Bordeaux. And you have also dispatched a proper army, but we're going to march to the north and then we're going to auto. We're going to auto that small force there. Take the bridge. So Mr. Backstrom's going to cut off the only other avenue of French troops to advance north. We're going to take both these territories, and if we take Marseille, we cut off decisively the east and west and empires of our enemies that will be quite a good outcome for us uh, this army yeah you've been de you've been delivered delivered 
So let's get these militia units to start to filter down towards the front. They've got a bit of time. There's no immediate rush. Just pick a few. Well, to be honest, it's going to be Cleves and Hanover that are going to be the ones I'm concerned about the most. They might bump into each other every now and then and start going, oh no, but we've been intercepted. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, got a bunch of infantry, have a bunch more. So you've got three, seven slots left and you're recruiting seven units. Perfect. Okay, so you guys can hold off recruiting like mad now. We can upgrade your lumber mill, however. Policies start to become an issue. We can just knock down our our um, lower lower class tax limit. Keep it some territories like Reims here. Small arms factory reduces upkeep. But some of them, some of these areas, I'm just gonna, I'm looking at like Brussels. Like, do I want a small arms factory here, or do I just want to change it into a banking house? Just to get that extra income. So let's make sure my spies are appropriately appropriately used. You're okay. You're okay, so you've got eyes on Napoleon. Mr. Delancey and Louis Joseph Lefebvre. Quite a general heavy army, really. Bavarian French Reserve Line Infantry, Confederation of the Line Lanvin Militia, Thuralier de, de la Jeune Garde. Where well, you fellas are going down. When this army gets into position, we can push the Spanish. And I'd like to have two armies move in against Spain from these two directions. Then this force here, try and drive south to maybe hit Munich. But in the meantime, wait a minute, a taste for battle, I thought it was a tea for battle, a tea for battle. Okay, you're in full, you're full health, so you may actually engage this force here. Or, to be honest, you're going to more correctly auto-resolve to kill these fragments rather than, this will take forever to fight properly. This force is a bit depleted. Demand the surrender of Marseille, because why not? Yeah, fortify it, why not? Even if it does turn out to be Ballyhoo. But that is the French cut off. So then you are going to advance eastward to see what lives elsewhere, because you're still replenishing. You can't really get any closer. Okay. So the French Empire is now isolated, east and west. To be honest, their Western Empire doesn't really exist anymore. Mm, the French have pulled back. I think this is like the uh, probably getting on to 1944-45, where we started to get okay. The Germans have beat a beaten now. Who's the next enemy? And everyone starts going, Russia. I'm kind of doing that, except I'm going, the Germans. <laughs> but I'd like to take out Britain. I don't want to fight a two-front war. I want to destroy Britain. And try and maintain as cordial as possible relations. Yeah, so if Spain doesn't have as easy a time advancing troops to the east now either... Yeah, my, that agent keeps trying to steal my tech. Got a lumber mill built in France. Let's make it steam-powered lumber mill. I mean, just... <laughs> okay, so we've got to push on Bordeaux and Toulouse. No visibility on what's going on there. Let's bring Mr. Neumann this way. 
get a brig. Back to Alborg. But right now, I think we're, we're just in a we're just in a really strong position. Um, let's move you up to the bridge to see if we can get a better vis more visibility on what's going on. Not really. Where's my agent? Napoleon's still in Munich. So Stuttgart is... It's held quite well. They've got reinforcements available to them. Does this guy have one eye? Looks like he does. <laughs> see if he saw it coming. <laughs> he didn't see it coming. Okay, so we've got a spy network established in, in Madrid, so now we have significant amounts of visibility across Madrid. Sorry, I'm, I enjoyed that last one too much. Um, okay, so you can see the Pamplona isn't covered. There is another army to the, in Spain still, but the actual main, mainland is defended by two armies. And this army looks pretty sweet. Can you make it to Bordeaux? No, you cannot. Mr. Almquist. Oh, you're too nice. Don't, you don't need to be fully replenished. We're going to attack the city of Toulouse and draw in one. What's going to be the first engagement against Spanish troops? But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for, hopefully, the destruction of the French city. Or the destruction of the garrison of Toulouse. Cheers, everyone.